Welcome everyone to Camp Cracky. All this month, I'm gonna be putting together videos about everyone's favorite non-circulating passive hydroponic method, the Cracky method. I'm also gonna attach free guides to every video over at humblegrowthhydroponics.com. So head over there, check out the guides for a great free resource. All right, in today's video, I'm starting my garden and I wanna start it the fastest way possible, which is cloning. So I'm gonna walk around my yard here and I'm going to find my top five favorite tropical plants to clone into a cracky garden. Let's get into it. So the first plant that I'm looking for here is one of my favorites because it grows so big and so fast. And that is elephant ear. Elephant ear looks a lot like taro. And taro's really popular out here too, but taro's heart shape is a little more rounded at the top and elephant ear is a little more pointy. Hey, jackpot. You usually don't have to look too long out here before you find some good elephant air. All right, now see how it's all growing in a line? That's the same root system. So I'm just gonna go down and pick up a small one that still looks healthy and try to get a chunk of root with it. And then we'll just take that back with us. Okay, so next, it's gonna be another root cloning one. And that is ginger. Tons of ginger out here and ginger shoots up this beautiful red flower and we all just love ginger. So I actually saw some right outside my garden shed here. So I am going to get that ginger. And you just have to pull that out. And it's the same thing with the elephant ear. Hopefully it'll just pull off a chunk of root and then that root will grow into more ginger. All right, so the next is one of my all-time favorites, the MVP, coleus. I saw a beautiful one back here and they actually can be cloned from cuttings. So all we have to do is cut off a branch and then take a few lower. I'll get into that here in a second. Let's just take our cuttings for now. I just love coleus. I think it's a really beautiful plant and I'm excited to clone that all over the property. Now the next one is more rare. I haven't seen this a lot on the island. Uh, you do see begonias, but this one in particular is a absolutely beautiful specimen. I believe this one's called the angel wing begonia. So I'm gonna clone this from a cutting as well and bring that back. Now lastly is the jungle rock star the fastest, tallest growing grass on the planet. Everyone knows it, everyone loves it. Of course, I'm talking about bamboo. So I have a whole wall of bamboo back here. And instead of taking a huge stalk, I'm just gonna take off a branch and then treat it like a cutting and clone it that way. All right, let's get back to the garden shed. Okay, back to the garden workshop. And I have four jars of just tap water set up here. And when you clone from cuttings, all you have to do is remove the bottom branches. And those are gonna become the roots. And then you just put those in water and it'll reroot and begin to grow up top soon. So I'm gonna do that with all of the plants that I can clone from cuttings. Now the begonia carefully using a pair of sanitized scissors or pruning shears when I remove the branches below. And then the bamboo. So I, okay, yeah, I'm gonna, I'm gonna cut this down for sure. And that's a bit long. So I'm gonna take it to about right here and then remove these super strong branches and put that in a jar. Okay, um, hold on a second. Put that in a jar. There we go. And do that with the rest of the bamboo. And now for our two plants that clone from roots, ginger and our elephant ear. So we're gonna go over to the sink and wash our roots thoroughly. We don't wanna invite any bacteria, any weird stuff into our garden that could cause root rot. In fact, with these rooted plants, we wanna empty the water and put new fresh water in every day uh, until it really starts going. And then we can transfer it to a garden. Now we're going to take them over to a jar as well. I'm going to use the same bamboo container and kind of cram the ginger down in there and then fit the bamboo around the ginger to make kind of a ginger centerpiece. All right, that one's done. 
and then the elephant ears just go into a smaller cup and those will actually become the largest plant of all of these plants in a rather quick time, which is kind of crazy uh, when you look at their size right now. All right, now I'm gonna let those chill in the window for about a week. I'll do a follow-up video called Cracky Garden House Plants. So make sure you're subscribed for that. Um, let me know in the comments below what your favorite tropical plants to grow in a cracky garden are. And don't forget to download that free guide at humblegrowthhydroponics.com. Let's keep growing together. See you tomorrow. Thank you.